uh, the Jenny. It's an airplane that uh, dates way back to World War I and one of the first planes built and uh, we're proud of it. If you're telling the story of Wichita Falls, you have to tell, you have to include the Air Force. You have to include the base and the fact that they're trained for installation. Where I gained my primary oh. skills initially in the Air Force was through a schoolhouse here at the Shepherd Air Force Base. So. I'm a quilter and I walked into this lovely show and saw a quilt walk done by my Aunt Ruth. And uh, Ruth is sick right now and can't be with us tonight, but uh, my sister-in-law and I were thrilled to see her work on the wall. She grew up on a ranch in the Panhandle of Texas, and her quilt block reflects that with a barbed wire fence and Texas wildflowers and some brands that she did. Well, the square is actually for my great-grandfather who passed the two weeks before I made it. He was uh, 98, but uh, we used to go out to his house every 4th of July and watch the fireworks over Lake Wichita. So I made my quilt in honor for him. I got three squares. My grandson, Parker Murfield, who is a major art major uh, working on a degree from Midwestern, did two squares, one of them the road to somewhere and the other one the road home. He was living in Virginia when he did his two. I did one with the blue bonnet basket with all the names of my family members. Blue bonnets depicts just a rich history of what we have here in North Texas. Mine is actually a picture of a, a cow, actually a calf, and I made it just because I'm from here, and um, my grandfather was a rancher, and he died over 20 years ago, but my parents have continued to take care of his land, and it's something very dear to my And the reason I made it is because I was a leader, I was on the board of directors, mm -hmm. I was a service unit manager, mm -hmm. I, I did everything. Yeah, okay. so you got to know a lot of Wichita Falls people through that, so having you right. I... But I, I paint, and they said, you can do anything. And so, I found something, I, I, there, was an, block, yeah. there was an article in Texas Monthly, it was called The Researchers, and they were about changing demographics. They had a small picture of John Wayne, and I'm a big Duke fan, and he's holding Natalie Wood, the last scene, and his line was, let's go home, Debbie. But at the bottom of the picture, it said, vamos para casa, Debbie. Well, I changed the words, it's for Wichita Falls, we are home, Debbie. And my grandchildren are half African American. So I thought this is an awesome project for an artist to participate in um, because there's been so many changes over the years in this community. So I did create um, a square and it kind of represents how art can bring people together.